right, my God, it's been a long time since I've made a video. Whew, how's everybody doing? Uh, yeah, this channel's been dead for a while. I've been incredibly busy for the past few months. I haven't really been posting much on Instagram. I haven't been posting at all on YouTube, really. But uh, I am headed to a shoot in Salt Lake over the weekend, and I figured it'd be kind of fun to bring the camera along and show you somewhat of like a day in the life of what I've been up to. So I'm outside of the airport right now waiting for my flight. Also, this is the base model 16 inch MacBook Pro uh, with the 512 gig hard drive. Nothing crazy, just something I could find in store. And I wanted to buy this because I'm seeing a lot of people completely specking out their MacBook Pros, which is awesome. Sometimes you need a need for it. But I also think that buying something that's a base model that doesn't have all the fixings in it is going to be more than enough for you and your needs. So let's get started in this video. I'm going to start by unboxing this sucker. I don't really know how to unbox this in here. I uh, severely underestimated the difficulty of trying to unbox tech in a car. I'm just in my car. But MacBook Pro, let's read off the specs. We've got 16 inch 16 gigs of ram 512 ssd and it has the 10 core cpu 16 core gpu um it's just the m1 pro wow there she is in all her glory this sucker is thick this is like and it's heavy. This is like, um, I used to have the 2011 MacBook Pro. It was my very first Mac anything. I got it for film school. And it's just like this, heavy, bulky, but solid. Let me get that. Oh, baby. And there she is. Check out that shoot on the Canon C70 right now. I'm sorry if you're just a tech person and not into video, but uh, that camera uses SD cards still. So having this is amazing. And I guess one thing I need to um, keep into consideration is that this is an entire inch larger than my 15 inch. Um, and I'm curious if I'm gonna like the 16 inch or not because I thought about getting the 14 inch, but they didn't have it in stock. I think it's a little more convenient for me because I travel a lot. Um, you'll see I'm going to do some travel tests on the airplane, but let's get this sucker open. Here we go. Oh baby. My favorite part. Never once did I think I would ever be unboxing a computer inside my car. There it is. It does look great. Next up, charging brick. This, we've got MagSafe again. Thank goodness I missed MagSafe. There's been tons of times where I've completely ripped my laptop off of the table um, just because it's plugged in via USB-C. So I'm very excited with how they've changed this. Apple stuff, and that's it. You've got your standard Apple minimal casing. So I'm gonna take these with me. Let me just put that right under here. Just made it through security. I have like 15 or 20 minutes before my flight, so I'm gonna try and hop on Wi-Fi real quick and set this computer up so I can use it on the plane. Not gonna lie, I thought this laptop was gonna be a little too big for my backpack, especially because I have my other laptop and my iPad in here, but it actually fits really well. This is only an hour flight, so I don't have much time to test this laptop, but I did take it out and it fits well in a first class seat, but I don't know if the 16 inch would really fit well in a normal coach seat. I'm gonna have to test that out. I think the 14 inch might be a little better for me because let's be honest, I do not fly first class all the time. Quick one hour and 20 minute flight to Salt Lake. Just waiting for my baggage. There it is right there. I came a little earlier than I usually would for a shoot that's the next day because I need to one, 
go pick up a rental order at a rental house and it's Friday so they're gonna close in like two hours so I needed to get here early then I also have to go to a camera shop and pick up an order that I purchased online for the shoot this weekend I am uh, not 100% sure that this is my car, but I am at least 85% sure that it's my car. So picked up from uh, a literal movie studio in Salt Lake. I didn't know that existed here, but apparently it does. Uh, super helpful people, even though my order was not even in the system, even though I sent everything. Now I have to go to Picture Line, which is like the big camera shop here. Uh, pick up an order that I purchased. I'm very excited about. I'll show you guys very soon very excited about this purchase. I'm gonna go check into my hotel, unload all of my gear, and then I'll show you what it is. All right, made it to the hotel. Now I wanna point out that, I gotta point out that that entire little sequence literally took maybe 30 minutes at most. From the airport to the rental house was 10 minutes. From the rental house to the camera shop, five minutes. From the camera shop to the hotel, five minutes. It's so easy to drive around here compared to LA. It's amazing. So I got this light for the shoot and um, in hindsight, it's probably not a smart thing to do to uh, purchase a whole light to travel home with. Um, but I flew first class here, which means I get three checked bags uh, and I only checked two knowing that I could check this bad boy on the way back. Just made more sense than having to rent it even because I was going to buy it anyway. So I just bought it here at Picture Line for store pickup and it worked out um, and I'm very excited. This thing is a lot heavier than I was expecting. Super excited. It is bicolor, so you can change it. Cold, warm, uh, all the temperatures I'm not gonna get into. All right, so I'm here, I'm settled in, and uh, I'm gonna go get some dinner, chill out, and get ready for the shoot. Here's a quick look into how my hotel usually looks within hours of arriving. We've got absolute chaos going on. We've got the new laptop downloading Premiere so I can actually use it for why I bought it, the whole reason of that. And then we have data transfer going on on this computer, trying to dump some stuff onto this little hard drive that I got as a backup because I'm constantly running out of storage space. That's a whole other issue I'm gonna address later on. We've got Casey Neistat playing. I've been rewatching Casey Neistat vlogs from start to finish for like the past over a year now, like a year and a half and I'm still only in 2016 of his vlogs. So that is pretty much always on. So that's pretty much how my night looks right now. I'm gonna be chilling in the hotel for the rest of the night, making sure all the gear's ready to go, all the batteries are charged, and uh, we have an early start tomorrow. So I'm gonna finish this up and go to bed. Currently 7.30 in the morning. I'm about to get ready for day one of our shoot. I have everything packed up already. We're headed down in like 30 minutes. The location, thank God, is only four minutes away from here. That's one of the great things about shooting in Salt Lake is everything is like within a five minute drive of everywhere you're going. Um, so we're gonna go there in about 30 minutes, but before we do, I need to find some coffee. So day one, we spent all day in the studio. It was a bit of a hectic day. As you can tell, I didn't really shoot much vlog style footage and also I can't really cover much of this because a lot of these products are not released yet, but it was a great day. And as I anticipated, having that SD card slot on the MacBook Pro was very helpful throughout the day. We were able to plop in that SD card, drop our footage and keep going with our shoot. So yeah, it's pretty boring to watch for the most part. I can't show everything that I'm working on obviously because of NDAs that I've signed. There's a lot of products that we're filming that aren't released yet. Um, so I can't just show my whole process of being on set, but tomorrow should hopefully be a little bit better. I'm going to a national park and we're going to be filming outside, so it should be pretty fun. 
but for tonight I'm just going to settle down and watch a little bit of YouTube before I go to bed. Who the hell is watching all of this crackle? Like who goes to a hotel and signs into their crackle account? I, I don't get it, but I'll see you all tomorrow. All right, it is Sunday morning, just doing some prep work before we head to day two. Check this out, I've been rendering proxies from what we shot yesterday and it's just absolutely flying. I also finished up a wedding edit while I was in the hotel and I was able to export this six minute 4K video in like four or five minutes. It was pretty fast and editing it was just seamless. So for day two, we headed out to Antelope Island, which is like 45 minutes out of Salt Lake. And you guessed it, I did not vlog the entire thing, but I tried to get some more B-roll clips to create a little montage. Um, I shot everything on my Canon C70 and it was just an incredible shoot. Everything was beautiful out there. The weather was amazing. We shot into the sunset. And so it was a little hectic at times trying to chase those shots, but it made everything worth it as that sun went down and we got to experience probably one of my favorite sunsets I've ever seen. Made it to Monday morning, made it through the shoot. I'm just finishing up packing and then I gotta go straight to the airport. And then uh, from the airport, once I get home, I'm gonna go into the studio and get some work done. It's been super nice having this along this weekend. Testing it out super fast, doing just light edits on it. It's been amazing, but yeah, all done here. It's time to go home. Goodbye, hotel room. Finally back at the office. I went home just to grab a couple things and I ended up bringing like an entire car load worth of crap. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap up the video here. I need to spend the rest of my day organizing the office and getting it back into a working order. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I know it was a lot of just random chaotic clips throughout the weekend. I wasn't really able to bring you completely along the journey, but hopefully it was somewhat entertaining. If you did enjoy it, uh, I should be putting out more videos pretty soon. Now that I'm finally home, finally back in the office. I will have more time to make these. So uh, if you want to see more, be sure to subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, and I will see you all in the next one. Later.